Hi everybody, my name is Dr. Gary Bettitcher, and in this video I want to talk about mapping from EER diagrams in particular subclasses to how we might convert this into a table. And there's a, actually several different approaches. In this video I'll show you one approach. Refreshing your memory, we had something like this in a previous EER video. We said student, they might have a student ID and major, and then we had the circle here representing disjoint, then we said the subclass, they could either be graduate or undergraduate, but not both. If they're undergraduate, they'd have something like a high school with diploma where they got the degree, SAT score. If they were a graduate, they'd have something like the GRE, along with the name of the undergraduate institution where they got their degree. Well, one approach is we take this and we merge this into one large table. And so we would have, for example, student ID 111. Let's say the first student is an undergraduate. They'd have a, a major, let's say, CS for computer science. If they were an undergraduate, they'd have a value there for high school. They'd have an SAT score. But for the GRE, we would have null there. And for the undergraduate, we would have null there also. Now let's say the next student, and in this case, the next student will make this student a graduate student. So we might have 2-2. Two, two. They have a major, let's say, math. We're going to assume they'd have a null value, because we don't care about the high school, and we'd assume a null value for the SAT score, but the GRE we would have something and the undergraduate we would have something. So the pattern that I want you to be aware of is that if the student is an undergraduate, we have null values for the graduate up here. If the student is a graduate, uh, then we have null values in terms of high school SAT. So we'd end up with a lot of null values, but all the data would be in one table. Now the advantage of doing something like this, using one table instead of two tables, is that if it came time to uh, maybe we wanted to do a count of all the students, we don't have to merge together two different tables. Okay, so that gives you the idea of how we take a subclassing using one table approach. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.